agent has dropped off our fenders and lines for the Panama cancel for the crossing on Wednesday. We're just getting our boat measure now to, in preparation for the transit, hopefully next week. I'm still looking for alligators out here. Haven't seen any. And there's the famous Antonio from sailing vessel Maui. <laughs> I'm on my way to go through the canal. I'm going to be a line handler, get some first-hand experience before we go through the canal to find out what it's all about. Well, we were just measured today and looks like we're going to go through next Wednesday, which is about a week away, almost a week away from now. So we'll see. Well, we're waiting for we are waiting for uh, Navionics chip so we have proper navigation charts for the Pacific Ocean. Our charts only go to about as far as the Galapagos Islands now, which we're going to sail right past. The fenders are tires? Yeah, the classic wrap tires. Oh, okay. That's cheap. Is the boat Andrew's going on to do the ropes handling? Okay, I guess he's gone. He's not even going to say bye. Bye! This is Panama. Wet. Well, it is a rainforest. And I have a river coming into the boat here. It's raining so hard. The crocodile's out here in front of two boats in front of me. Antonio and Oi were just talking at the front and he pointed it out. Jar just because I went and got my camera, he went underneath. But supposedly he hangs out right here in front of me. Right there, there's that log on the shore. He likes to lay on the grass there. So, filling up at the fuel barge here because there is a boat on the other side of the dock. We need about 200 liters of fuel that we use for our generator when our batteries were dying. Okay, when our batteries were dead. So 26 gallons, about 100 liters on the port side. <laughs> we paid for 50, so I guess we're getting 24 on the starboard side. Okay, we need a little bit more than 24, so they're letting us put a little more in. We're going to look for some monkeys. We, found, we heard there was some here just up the road. Uh, this morning we heard the howlers quite a bit and they kind of woke me up this morning. Yeah, they're very loud. Very loud. Today. We really have to watch where we stand that we're not standing on top of the big ants. I don't need them climbing all over us. We run across this old battery and find evidence that they used rail cars to ship something into these long storage rooms. Oh, I see a monkey. There it is, right there. It's an ant highway. Leaf cutters. Leaf cutter ants, look at that. It's a massive highway. This is a leaf cutter ant highway exchange. Right yeah. Here. They use a British system. <laughs> uh, we come across a wall. Looks like you could stick guns through there. And these termite mounds in the trees. And if it's higher up, you can't tell the difference between this and a curled up sloth. I guess we should be watching for snakes too. This is the area we heard the howlers this morning. Not hearing anything now. Well, birds. <laughs> hey, Andrew, it smells like monkey pee here. It smells like urine. <laughs> See? I was right. There Three. they are. I those are the howlers. I don't know. See, I told you it smelled like monkey pee. Well, what it smelled like is Gibraltar when the monkeys were around. Oh, <gasps> there's that blue butterfly. Oh, crud. There he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, I hope something shows up on the camera. I'll have to crop and zoom it. There goes one. Andrew's gone back in the batteries, but I'm going to come out and look to see what I can find. 
Oh, it looks like a nice bay. Life that I won't quit your little bed. 